When two vehicles have a head-on collision at the moment of impact, all objects and passengers inside both vehicles are moving at the travel speed. Within a fraction of a second, the front structure of each vehicle, known as the crumple zone, crushes. This absorbs impact energy, and it's designed to lessen deceleration forces and protect vehicle occupants. All restrained passengers and objects are slowed down by seatbelts, airbags, or other restraint systems. But unrestrained passengers and objects inside both vehicles will continue to move in the direction and speed of travel until they're abruptly stopped by another object. The forces are extreme. When a car crashes at high speed and the objects inside keep moving, the impact could be up to 20 times the force of gravity. So a litre bottle of water impacts with the force of a 20 kilo weight. That's a 3 kilo laptop becoming a 60 kilo projectile. If the vehicles were travelling at 80 kilometres an hour, unrestrained objects will have the same impact as being dropped off a seven storey building. So how can you lower the risk of unrestrained objects becoming dangerous projectiles in a crash? Firstly, small items like smartphones can be put in a glove box or centre console. Larger devices should be stored in the pocket behind the driver or passenger seat or in the boot where any large or heavy object is best stored. If you're driving a hatchback or a station wagon, invest in a cargo barrier and high quality nets or tie down straps. And if any of the objects you are carrying are restrained, check the load before starting your journey and at any of your planned stops. The forces in a collision are extreme and unyielding, and you definitely don't want to be hit by any loose items flying around the cabin. So remember, if you have a loose item in the car with you, stow it. <laughs>